two occasions since our, our last meeting, the committee's prime inside, as uh, Mr. Griffith from the county and myself, uh, Richard Douglas, Bill Zimmerman from the city, Ms. Bertram has joined us from the town of Clifton Forge, and then there's been uh, riders from uh, the radar service, residents of Scott Hill and uh, Dolly Ann Apartments. At this point in time, the committee is still evaluating options to move forward. We are going to be scheduling a public hearing. Uh, radar has uh, indicated the, a willingness to increase rates for uh, ridership. Uh, current rates 50 cents. They're going to propose an increase to one dollar, and then they are also considering a reduction in, in hours of service. Currently, uh, bus routes till five looking to cut back to 3.30 as they have a very low ridership in, in, in that time frame. Uh, scheduling a public hearing, which is required by uh, the, the funding sources that they receive at the state and federal level on those two items. After the public hearing is, is held and everybody will be notified to, uh, of location and time, uh, looking at a couple of different options now and radar is responsible for scheduling. We'll, the committee will meet again to discuss you know, comments heard at the public hearing. The county is still uh, interested and is pushing the, uh, the funding scenario that, that we offered to RADAR, which was the base funding at the, uh, at the level funded amount of $15,000 and then the dollar for dollar match uh, from the outside sources. To generate <laughs> enough revenue to to close the gap, uh, I'd say, just in in general terms, radar staff has not been very receptive to that concept. But we think that uh, we need to look at some alternatives to just the standard way that the business has been conducted. I'll be happy to answer any questions. John, you know how uh, I stand, but I, I told you before. That I still believe all three jurisdictions are participating in funding the radar bus. I had more calls about this radar bus than the time. Ever since I've been on this board, I've had more calls about the radar bus than I have anything else. And I even called over to <coughs> Briarcliff and Ridgeview. And they have a bus which runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I asked them that they maybe, in the future, could they maybe use the bus another day or so. And she said that they thought they might be able to come up with something about running the bus another day. And if that happens or not, I don't know. But that's what the lady told me. I still think they put them forward should pay their fair share considering that the percentage of the people come from the Briarcliff and the Ridgeview. 